All right, boys and girls, we're back with Minecraft today, and to be quite fair, I died again, like, twice or once. I'm not even sure right now, but I died a few times again, um, but I finally managed to get some iron on my hands. Uh, we got now 52 iron, and to be quite fair, this took me so freaking long, um, but I wanted to do some off-camera farming because, um, first of all, it's really boring in my opinion. And no, I still haven't killed the iron golem. I know you guys told me to build up four blocks, I think, and then attack the iron golem, but I think it's some kind of protection, so I really want to heal it, so I, you know, I have some kind of village protection here. Um, the goal for today's episode is definitely start working on my own house because to be fair this house might be quite nice but overall it's just not really making well the cut anymore it's just a little bit too tiny and the villagers keep stealing it from me so I kind of wanted to make my own house but not only that I wanted to work on a little bit of a farm today simply because I think we need some food and the main issue I realized why I always died was simply because I ran out of food and I couldn't regenerate any health by the way sorry for the clicky keyboard today um so my kind of main goal for today's episode is actually try to get some food sources so in this case oops sorry <laughs> we're gonna try to well maybe build up a farm or something like that so we're gonna try to get some grass right here so we can get these seeds from the grass hopefully it's gonna work and that one just disappeared nope never mind there we go we have nine of these wheat seeds now because the food well the bread is pretty good in my opinion definitely makes the life a little bit easier here it's I guess the easiest source of food because like you get the wheat seeds really really easily um the good thing is that we actually found the villager town um so we already had like a little farm over there and the best thing about that farm is actually they they already have some type of stuff so let me just showcase that in a second we're just gonna get those um hay blocks right there so we can actually make wheat out of that and then make some bread but yeah right here we have this farm and in my opinion it's super cool because well i can just go here and then steal from the villagers like oh yeah we get some carrots these are pretty awesome so we can use those for the pigs um there we go let's put some more carrots in here instead and yeah this guy's probably going to well do the most of the farming but the point is I want to steal some stuff from him later on because I'm pretty sure he's just going to put it into his little barrel there and I don't really want that to happen. You know, I want to make food out of it. So hopefully we can steal some of his stuff. There we go. So we're going to get the new pick now. It's awesome. And honestly, this is really well made. So there we go. We have now a brand new pick. Um, just stay there, piggies. <laughs> there we go. So now we can actually start working on our own farm because we have a few, well, essentials, I guess. We have one of those beetroots. Um, well, we have four beetroot seeds that we actually need so let's just make a stone shovel maybe there we go and one thing i did wanted to do i want to see how much iron i would need for repairing that dude but first of all i definitely want to make some iron tools and maybe work on a little iron um chest plate or better set iron armor in general so let's see i wanted to make a brand new farm so we definitely need all of the seeds there let's do that real quickly there we go and now what i want to do is get some stone maybe and we ran out of stone that's awesome so let's just get those all right there we go and now we gonna go wait put that on number one there we go and now we're gonna get some stone from down here because i'm a little bit too lazy uh, i might actually put this into like a farm or mine or something like that so we can actually get well resources and have kind of our own mine access and i don't have to walk all the way over there all the time um so yeah let's go back here now let's get two sticks there we go and now stone there we go now we can make this one the stone hoe there we go all right not too bad and now we can actually start working on our farm i would actually say i'm gonna put it close to the water because i think that might be actually the best spot for us so wait one thing i wanted to do as well we need some dirt so we're gonna make real quickly a shovel there there we go all right not too bad and now we have a shovel awesome let's eat some bread i nearly ate the potato that would have been devastating all right so i want to farm this area right here there we go or maybe i should actually build it up here that would probably be a better idea let me just skip this part so you guys don't have to watch me farm dirt all right boys and girls there we go i think this would be perfect for our little farm right here uh maybe let's fill up the dirt right here as well so one thing i wanted to do i want to make an iron bucket um or better said a bucket in general so we need three iron i think as far as i'm concerned there we go and then we had to do like this, right? All right, there we go. So perfect. So what we can do now with this, we can go down here. I hope the infinite water source still works. I hope they didn't fix that. That would have been terrible if they did. All right, there we go. So one bucket right there. And now we get another water bucket. All right, awesome. Let's go all the way up here again. And now we're going to put it into the other corner. And I think this should be a perfect infinite water source. So let me just work a little bit more on the farm and then I'll be back.
All right, Barsing Rose, there we go. So now we're gonna fill this up with water. There we go. Let's grab our infinite water source right here. Let's actually use it. It's so useful to do it like that. All right, there we go. Let's put one in the middle. There we go. And another one right here as well. All right, perfect. So we're gonna grab more water. There we go. More water. There we go. And more water again for the last one. Not too bad. We're doing pretty good right now. And I definitely actually get to finish what I started last time. Uh, let's put one right there, one right there, and now it should be fine. Okay, one more. We don't want the water to be moving. I think that can be a little bit distracting. So I just want the still water. So I just try to achieve that maybe. There we go. I think maybe now. Nope, there's still one missing. And it's still missing. Okay, that one is a little bit confusing. There we go. We fixed that one. And we fixed that one as well. All right, let's move on to the ones right here. So that one is probably going to take a little bit longer. There we go, not too bad. I'm probably going to move the infinite water source somewhere else because currently it's a little bit in the way of our farm and we don't want that to happen. There we go. And I think that's perfect. All right, so I wanna move it now. I'm going to move it, I think right over here. This just seems to be a pretty good spot. So we're just gonna do it like that. Then we're gonna take these away there. All right, and now we're gonna move the source. One right there and one right there. All right. I think it works. Okay, perfect. So now what we can do, we can actually take away that thing right here. There we go. And move it all the way up here, but I have to put more dirt blocks right there. Otherwise it's not gonna work out. <laughs> all right, there we go. And then we're gonna have to fill this one up very soon as well. Oh God, there we go. And now let's fill those up as well. There we go, not too bad. And now let's grab some more water from our infinite water source. It's such a useful trick actually. <laughs> I'm so glad I know that. There we go, let's get some more. All right, not too bad. There we go. There we go. And last one. Oh, never mind. One more. There we go. Now it should be fine though. And now we should definitely go back to our bed. Luckily, we found a villager town. Um, sir, I, I need that one. That's mine. All right, let me just get there. <laughs> we just stole it from him. We woke him up broke the bed and then took it. <laughs> All right, very, very rude from me. There we go. So now we have actually a lot of iron. So please move a little bit to the side. There we go. I don't know if this is enough for full iron armor, but I want to go and try it maybe. There we go. I, I think that should be enough. All right, awesome. That should be perfectly fine. So now we have a complete armor set, but I'm going to put it away for now because I don't think we're going to need it right now. And we would probably just damage it and we don't want that. So let's start working on the farm a little bit more. Now we can finally work on these ones. I hope they actually get watered because currently they're not. All right, now we can put the beetroot seeds there. Definitely want some beetroots. Okay, this is definitely going to be the beetroot one. Uh, let's put wheat on this one because why not? Should work perfectly fine. We should definitely go on a little bit of a hunt later on and try to find more seeds, like maybe watermelon seeds and stuff like that. You know, we'll definitely need some more. Um, I'll definitely take down the coordinates for this house. So we're not going to forget about it. So here I want potatoes to be. Um, it's definitely going to take a while until the farm is fully done. And then on the last one, I'm definitely going to put the carrots down and we'll We'll probably expand it later on. Um, but yeah, for now, I guess this should be fine. So let's see, we have another tree sapling there. Let's get some more of these so we can craft some more bread. And now I would say we're gonna try to get some animals because it's going to be quite important. So we can, as an example, maybe get some cows, uh, maybe some horses, I see horses over there, but I don't think you can craft the saddle. So that's going to be quite interesting to achieve one of those. Um, now I'm definitely going to steal from the villagers again. All right, we definitely also have to get some more food because currently we're a little bit hungry and would be unfortunate if we go on our way to, to explore the whole area here and then we get hungry all of a sudden. Um, oh, well, that didn't work out. I'm definitely going to put a workbench down here somewhere. All right, there we go. So let's craft some bread. We definitely keep some so we can actually attract some cows. I think that's how it worked, right? I think cows really like this. Or was it sheeps? Well, we'll find out. And I think there's like one of those merchants or whatever he's called. One of those traders, the, the wandering ones. That's pretty awesome. So let's see what he has in store. I don't have any emeralds. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Which kind of animal did like wheat? Let's see. Was it cows? I hope it was cows, actually. So let's try to attract all of these cows.
How do we do this now? Wait, I'll get some... I mean, give them some bread as well, because villagers really like bread for some weird reason. Okay, so now we're gonna take the wheat again. We're gonna bring it right in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one didn't want it to go in, so what we're gonna do now... Sorry, cow, since you didn't want it to go in there. Oh god, I attacked the villagers. <laughs> I think I hit the other ones as well. I didn't mean to. There we go. So now we have one that is really happy. Alright, there we go. So we have some cows now as well, so we can get some milk. That's amazing. I would say next thing I want to do also in this episode, I want to work a little bit on the house. So we have some cows now, so we get some leather. Other. Might be quite interesting. And what I can do now also, I can just go here and murder the other cows because like we don't need them anymore. Chicken we're gonna keep because we don't have that many of them. But I think I know now how to attract chickens actually. So we need those seats, right? Was it like that? Oh, there's another cow. Sorry, cow. Other chicken here's here as well. So now we have two chickens in here. Wait, let's get a little bit back here. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna do that. And how do I how do I make like a different kind of door? Um I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, that didn't work. Well, guys, I think we're not gonna have chickens for now. <laughs> that didn't really work out. Well, I'll find a solution one day. Well, we'll just leave it like that for now. All right, let's do a time lapse and work on the house a little bit. All right, boys and girls, I think we're done with this for today. Um, we're going to end this episode right here. I think we did quite some progress. I know you didn't see everything that I've made today, but oh, wow, I forgot about this part. But I think we did some really good progress. We finally have our house. We're just going to go really quickly over all the things that we did today. We worked on the farm. We, well, got some farm animals as well. And now there's three villagers trapped inside and we have a small house. Uh, I definitely need to do some upgrades on it. I think it looks a little bit weird right now. Uh, what I really like though is kind of the shape i might actually do what i did on the front for like the other side as well and just kind of expand it like this like that i go around and do one of these on each side uh because i think it looks kind of nice like that i don't know leave it in the comments down below if you think the house looks terrible because i think it kind of looks weird there's definitely better houses out there but i think like this it should be fine could look a lot worse to be quite fair if you would have seen some of my older houses i think this is definitely a step up from that so yeah that's definitely better than the default one that we had before so i hope you enjoyed today's episode i hope you had a little bit of fun thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.